So I'm standing here today with Rachel. Um, Rachel contacted me about um, Sean Ross Abbey. If you don't know about Sean Ross Abbey and the mother baby home, you've probably been living under a rock for the last little while. But what the idea is that what we have here is this is the, the, the angels plot in Sean Ross Abbey. So um, mothers would have been brought here when they were they were pregnant um, and some babies wouldn't have made it. Some mothers would have died during birth as well. But this is where the, some of the, 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 the registered deaths are now. Not too long ago, they done an excavation of this up the middle um, and they found 34 coffins um, and they found um, another and um, enough t of ten anonymies to make up another 10 bodies. So, what Rachel is trying to do is Rachel is trying to get a phone together to get this area scanned because, on the records of Sean Ross Abbey, 1,090 kids are unregistered or un are uncounted for. That's not good enough. Um, although this is a, is a really hard time in Irish history, a hard time that I think people try to hide and maybe. It, it, um, pull under the rug if you must. I think it's time that that we that we fix this, you know, and that we made sure as a nation that we we find out what happened here and we find justice, not just for the, the mothers and, and and the kids that were uh, are adopted without without uh, birth certificates and all this sort of stuff, but for the babies that died here. Yeah. And we're actually in a position now <clears throat> where we have organised for. Um, the engineers who scanned the, the grounds of Tune to come up here and scan these grounds um, because if you look at this whole area here I mean there's loads of it that wasn't scanned you know it's only just that kind of line going up to the cross there and um, so we're in a position now to do that but we, we need people to support us we need people to go and have a look on the GoFundMe to scan the grounds of Sean Ross Abbey um, there is an area further up here that we want to so this area here is right beside the angels plot um, and these trees and the foliage they're only here since 1993 they weren't here beforehand and <clears throat> the engineers that want to scan the grounds have pointed this out as an area of interest they've flagged this as a place where they'd like to go um, so yeah and this is this is one of them So this grave is sister Hildegard McNulty. Hildegard McNulty was kind of like the, 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 the senior nun around a lot of this. So she would have held a book um, and that book would have had all of the kids' names in it that were adopted, that were sent away. Um, a lot of the information that people that, that, that needed to be shared with people, that book has never been found. So I don't know if any of you know the story of Philomena Lee. Um, we're standing at her son's grave here. Um, Michael Anthony Hess um, and the, the story is so sad um, Philomena came here to Sean Ross Abbey when she was 18 <coughs> and she was after getting pregnant um, with Michael and her, he was taken off her when he was three and um, he was sent over to America and <coughs> for a very long time he searched for his mother and she was searching for him and he came here looking for her and she came here looking for him within the space of a few weeks and they didn't find each other. So eventually Michael ended up paying 20 grand to get buried in this spot so that his mother could find him and she did eventually. So I just wanted to say thanks so much to everyone who has um, supported this, who has donated, who shared. Really do appreciate it. It means so much. But please do keep sending it around. If you know anybody that might be interested or affected by this, send it on to them. We need as much support as possible. Um, the, the GoFundMe is basically a vehicle for us to be able to take this really serious cause back into our own hands. And it is the only home that's not state run so we're, we are in a position to be able to do that and we've been given permission to do so as well we think it's critical to remember that um 1090 kids are, are that were registered here are, are unaccounted for and that's just not acceptable and i want to say thank you to everybody that that that, that, that will share and will donate to this but um i want to say thank you to rachel as well for, for all the groundwork that she's done on it and, and i want to just help push it as far as possible because 
This is a part of our history that is a hard part of our history, but it's definitely one that needs to be faced correctly.